I'm Patrick with Just Ponics, and today I wanted to talk to you about how a siphon works. Siphons are magical. They're able to drain a large body of water or even a small body of water without using any electricity. All it's using is atmospheric pressure and it's able to drain a tub of liquid. Let's talk about how a bell siphon works. We'll use this drawing to explain the inner workings of a bell siphon. First, let's name the parts of this image. At the upper left is the water pump. The reservoir holds the grow media. It is where the siphon is installed. This is the bell siphon. This is a bell siphon S-trap. It helps create back pressure so the siphon starts more reliably. This is the bell. This is a riser, which is also known as a standpipe. This is the veloster. The veloster is a specially shaped hydrodynamic device designed to facilitate fail-safe starting of the siphon by passing a large volume of water into a narrow riser pipe. This is the eye snorkel. It passes a large volume of air into the riser pipe without interruption to ensure a fail-safe stopping of the siphon. Let's talk about how it actually works. The reservoir is initially empty. The pump starts filling the reservoir with water. Water enters the siphon at the bottom of the bell. Water slowly rises until it reaches the top of the veloster. At this point, the surface of the water inside and outside the bell is equally exposed to atmospheric pressure. Outside the bell, the water is exposed to the atmosphere from the open top. Inside the bell, the water is exposed to the atmosphere from the air rising through the S-trap and up the riser. Water starts trickling into the riser and filling the S-curve. The S-curve fills the water until air from the outside cannot enter through the S-curve. At this stage, atmospheric pressure is blocked from entering the bell. Water starts trickling out of the S-curve. This is the point when the siphon is priming to start. More water flows into the riser and slowly fills it. As the water rises, it eventually forms a seal and creates a vacuum inside the bell. Since a vacuum is formed inside the bell, the siphon activates and begins to drain the reservoir. Water is pulled into the bell through the standpipe and through the S-curve. Water continues to drain from the reservoir. Water continues to drain until air reaches the snorkel hole at the base of the siphon. The air travels into the snorkel hole and towards the top of the riser. When the air reaches the top of the bell, the vacuum is broken and the siphon stops. Atmospheric pressure is equalized inside and outside the bell. The remaining water in the standpipe and S-trap flows out. The process completes and starts again. So today, we went over how a siphon works. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you can use this knowledge and build your own aquaponic system using a siphon. We, we sell our siphons on Amazon and Etsy, and you can check us out.